this is um, the village in between the Women's Institute and the Farmer's Market. And uh, we're in a Afghan yurt, which is a sushi restaurant. <laughs> this is an opportunity for people to sort of meet and create together, you know. It's, it's magic, really. There's, there's not many, many places where you get this volume of people getting on, co-creating, having a good time, not fighting, you know, check the world out, you know. I think people are bound by rules and regulations at every level and they need to come together and relax and be themselves, you know. When we were first approached last year, if we would do a tea tent, to be honest, my first thought was, why would youngsters want a tea tent at a pop festival? And we were just amazed how busy we were. And people were saying, oh, a cup of tea, oh, a good strong cup of tea. I think we would all like to think that if our kids were here, that somebody would make them a cup of tea. One of my favourite memories from last year was when I got here the second day and found a young lad curled up in a blanket outside the tent and I first of all thought that he was poorly and when I approached him and said, you know, you okay? And he said, I'm waiting for you to open. <laughs> so I said, oh, I'll go put the kettle on. I, I like the, the mix of things here, you know, you've got the Japanese rock band and then Fabio and Groove Rider and you know, it's just it, like pure things and and stupid things, yeah. chorus dances. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this has been really nice on this bandstand with the, you know, like a, a couple of little local bands from the Isle of Wight doing lovely little folksy thing, and then the cellist, and uh, I don't know, and then the, a bit of square dancing. A bit of square but, dancing, somebody doing. And then doing. the roar coming from the cricket as well. That's <laughs> it. It's, it's a good. It's a nice yeah. vibe. It really yeah. is. Did yeah. I say vibe? <laughs> This fun and when I fight you better run I mean This, this is my little festival site, and we've got it all around us, yeah? So, you know what I mean? This is the arena, yeah? With the Batman's face on, right? This is the drinks parliament here, yeah? Where you get your drinks. And that's the hut for chilling. My submarine's over there, the CO2 bottle, and there's a boat there. And that's our ancient pyramid and the balloons are just for fun. I've been here since 12 o'clock and it's about three o'clock now, so I've spent quite a bit of time. What makes Best of All unique is that they've really hand-picked the best stalls and the best food and the best music and the best healing. <laughs> um, and and it's, just, it's just made for a, a, a really, really nice festival. And the vibe here is fantastic. We love it. It's really good. She stays alone 
never sheds a single tear. She stays in the coolest moods, clearly woman of the some festivals over the summer, no names mentioned, you know, and we're, you get into fancy dress and people are like, oh yeah, but, but, beep beep, you know, like, just like, yeah, hurling abuse at you and uh, it's, um, everyone's free here just to kind of express themselves. You could run around naked or you could like come in the most outlandish gear or you could walk around just in your normal clothes and no one's going to say anything. It's funny if you wear clothes you're not um, posed in front of a mirror with. Because usually what you were trying to dress up as is something that people like or want to be, like a pirate, a cowboy, a squaw or something like that. It's usually uh, indicative of one's uh, fantasy, really. And I think it's important to exploit fantasies before they exploit you. The dressing up box is um, its the brainchild of Tessa Carr. This is a lovely young lady who started off dressing box. Hello. And uh, over the years, uh, People have wanted festivals to look really nice and everyone have a good time. People don't necessarily bring their own stuff, so we thought we'd provide a little bit of a service, give everyone a good time, and we're going for the world record, which is actually festival we're going for it, not dressing up box, but with our help. Um, hopefully, we're going to get 10,000 people in fancy dress. We've got the Guinness Book of Records coming down, so. Uh... Well, Gladiator, Britney Spears. <laughs> Red Indian, cowboy, what can I say? We dress up in fancy outfits every day anyways, pretty much. We do, we do. We have, we have lots of hats, a hat bag that we take I'm colorblind, so. and she just has no fashion sense whatsoever. <laughs> so, we try. dressing up, it lets you take on a slightly different persona, it lets you wear stuff that perhaps you wouldn't wear normally. Um, and I think it just brings out the kid in everyone. It's playful, it's naughty, it's cheeky, it's fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh look, it's quarter to six, better get into my fancy dress outfit. And like Mr Ben... The King Play now plays his festival 2005! Fancy dress mania! Let's go! <laughs> and getting into character. Lots of people have gone to a lot of thoughts behind this festival and it shows.
love and devotion. I was tired of living the life of a fool. I was wondering where I'd gone wrong. But I know it's gonna work out fine. When I see that look in your eyes. I think there's probably like 9,000 people got in fancy dress, but that's only my estimate. Well, between me and you, the record never existed, so if we'd had three people in fancy dress, we'd have broken it. So yeah, we've done it. We have the world's biggest fancy dress party. Crazy. It makes me feel like a child. It makes me feel like a child. It makes me feel like a little kid again, which is what we all want. Yeah. Yeah.